This is J-Man with MusicMarauders.com, here in the bathroom at Cervantes with Eddie and Roberts of the New Master Sounds. How are you? I was okay till you walked in on me. Yeah, well, you know, that's... <laughs> that's you know, what happens. That's fucking well, yeah. time. Yeah, I guess so, right? Yeah. Um, since the band's formation in 1997, how has the band progressed to where it is now? Can you kind of tell me about that process? Um, I think a big part of the, the change that we've had over, over, over the last five years is coming to the US mm -hmm. and, and playing on a completely different scene to what we were playing on in Europe. Right. Which is more, in, in Europe it's all about the DJs playing funk 45s, so then we were kind of replicating that, doing like short tunes and like, and, and um, not, not really any gaps in between. So we were like being like live DJs. And um, I think we still retained some of that, but we got into this whole jam scene over here and, and people encouraged us to like, it's like, oh, what are you to play more? And we ended up doing, you know, three hour sets and things like that. So. We had to adapt it. When did you actually come to the States? The first time was 2005. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we uh, opened for uh, Red Alarm Stars at the House of Blues in Chicago for the very first time. And we and that was just an eye opener. We were like, wow, it's like a thousand people watching people play, you know, watching them over here. doing like soul, soul jazz and funk, which is kind of what we were doing back home. But, you know, there was this kind of everything was a bit more stretched out, a bit more playing. And because I'm from a jazz background, that kind of suits me anyway. I kind of. Sure. Like, like, the freeform stuff a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, what are some of the highlights of your musical career with the new Master Sessions? Um, uh, most recent one was probably uh, playing Tipitina's on uh, Halloween. Uh, and I never did the whole second service. So that was, you know, cool. to say that we started off playing, you know, a bunch of meters covers mm -hmm. when we were when we were young and uh, and then, and then to be actually playing with sure. with Park, you know, was pretty amazing. Yeah, uh, that and headlining the film was in San Francisco. That was really exciting. Yeah. How, how was that? Amazing. We've done it twice now. Wow. But the first time it was just that's great. That's a sizable venue for everyone. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Um, can you talk about some of your favorite funk musicians? Um, well, it's funny. It's always a hard one like, in, in interviews with this because a, a lot of, like I said, where we came, came from, it was DJs playing just like playing 45s, like rare 45s. I see. And so there weren't kind of like loads of bands. There were just like loads of tunes. Yeah, it's like the stuff. Yeah, well, not samples. Just you know, they were the actual you know the three and a half minute okay. tune, but they were by you know our band called the Blenders. Limited or something as well. I think they only did one, one single ever. And then there's like, um, okay. I, I, I don't even know most of the names you of them. The meters, too, correct? I mean, the meters, yeah, obviously was a, was an influence. I mean, you, know, like, you can't be playing funk unless you've been influenced by the meters, especially in this kind of lineup that we are. Yeah, that's true. We're having a good time with some players. Are you happy with the fan base and popularity of where you guys are now? And can you talk about building a fan base in the United States? Well, I mean, it's, you know, touring, lots of hard work has, has really paid off. For the last two years, we've, we've been all over the place. And, and I think there's only like five states we haven't actually been to. So, it's a job. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so we've probably we've, awesome. we've been to more states than most than most Americans have been to. You know, right? And uh, so, you know, we've, we've been working it hard on the road for, uh, for you know, I mean, like, like I said, since 2005, but really the last two years has been really concentrated. And that's, you know, we've really noticed a difference in the size of the audience and, and, and the kind of online presence to how much people are kind of, you know, participating on like our Facebook and things like that. Are you satisfied with where your fan base is right now and where it's at? Well, I mean, you know, it's... Uh, you know, one you're, you're striving kind of. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's... It, we still... I don't... I don't feel like we've made it, you know, but I don't really believe in that you've made it anyway. It's more, you know, this has been, I've been doing this for 20 years, you know, playing this kind of music and, and uh, it's been a, it's been a, just a slow build all that whole time and I've always been living out of it, so I consider that, I consider that making it, yeah. yeah. Um, what are your plans with the new Master Sounds for the spring and summer? Are you guys doing some festivals? Um, touring heavy? Yeah, we, um, spring, we basically we start off uh, about Boston, New York, at the end of April, and we work our way down to the East Coast, and then come cut across and end up in the uh, Jazz Fest. From, I say two nights. Two, 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 two nights, so the house of blues. Nice. Late night, late night, uh, Jazz Fest. So, okay. That's going to be fun. Then, then I think Ben and May, we do a summer camp. 
that will play with our level again at the, the New Jersey Crawfish Festival. Oh, cool. So that's us featuring It's great. So that's a, in that same tour. And then we'll probably be, you know, I'm sure we'll be out for most of July. We're usually in the US for most of July. Mm -hmm. That's it. Great. Well, I appreciate your time tonight, Eddie. Hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Eddie Roberts of the New Master Sounds.